My name is Dr. Craig Stevens. I'm the uh, chair of the Department of Radiation Oncology at uh, the William Beaumont University Hospital, which is part of the Corwell Health System. Um, I work in Royal Oak, Michigan in the United States. I think Dynamic Arc is key to the future of, of radiation therapy with, with protons. It is faster treatment. Getting 20 or 30 percent more patients on the machine makes a huge difference, um, especially to those folks that are that are looking at the finances. Um, it also allows us to help that many more patients. Um, we often have a waiting list. With Dynamic Arc, we're going to be able to um, you know, increase the number of patients that we treat by 20 to 30 percent. And, and that will uh, really fulfill our, our system need. Also, Dynamic Arc is more robust, which means we can use smaller margins. It will allow us to plan patients faster so much like VMAT with x-rays, Dynamic Arc uh, will likely become the dominant form of IMPT uh, within a few years. Uh, you know, when, when we look back on, uh, on our x-ray volumes, you know, we, we treat almost no one with two or three fields of IMRT. It's all rotational IMRT. And I suspect the same thing will be true with, with Dynamic Arc. Um, so it's faster, the plans are better, it's easier to plan and it's going to be better for our patients because it will spare more normal tissues. The other thing that's nice about Dynamic Arc uh, is it allows us to move to the next step uh, in research and development. Is it allows us to take the most uh, damaging protons, the high LET protons, and put them right in the middle of the target volumes. They're right in the middle of the tumor volumes. Um, that's in contrast to uh, standard IMPT today, uh, which do doesn't and really can't control for these um, high LET protons. Uh, and often they end up at the edge of the field, where that's where the normal tissue is. You don't really want that. You really want those all in the middle of the tumor. And Dynamic Arc will allow us to, to actually take that into account in our planning. There will be a few patients that are treated with more standard IMPT. Uh, as, as we move into the dynamic arc era. Uh, however, I think just like VMAT, the vast majority of our patients will, will rapidly move to dynamic arc.